I learned how to use a layer method where you take the cube and you solve first one layer and then the second layer and then you finish up with the third layer. So you work down rather than solving one side and then another. When you're starting off with a mixed up Rubik's Cube, you need to form a cross on whatever side you choose to be the top side. I chose green in this case. And so now you have a cross right here. That part's done by intuition, by just uh, messing around with the cube for a while and figuring out how things move in a basic format. Um, then after that, you can start using algorithms. And what you're trying to do is input the correct corners in their positions. If you're trying to put a corner piece into place on the very beginning, after you form your cross, um, you just line it up with that color uh, in the center. And then you um, write L, D, L inverse. And so the corner one is either L, D, L inverse. The apostrophe stands for the um, 90 degrees counterclockwise, just the letters um, 90 degrees clockwise on that face. The left um, downward face and then left again, but the other direction. Or if it's on the other side, you can go right inverse, um, down, inverse, and then right. And now I have all the, um, all the correct colors and their positions on the top layer. And then your next job is to put the uh, the edge cubes in the middle layer. It's a funny good one. Uh, so I'll start with this one. The white and red one is going to go here. Now I'm doing a orange and white one. These two colors are going to go in this position. Then yellow and red. Then the last one is yellow and orange. And now you have two of your layers solved, and you just have to solve the last one. So you're attempting to not make a cross on the other side. Um, at this point, it's either going to be a single dot in the center, uh, backwards out like this, or a line across, or the full cross, and then you can skip this step. In this case, we have the uh, backwards L. So I'm going to turn that. Normally, using the original algorithm, you would need to turn the dot into the L, L into a line, line into a cross, but I found a shortcut where you could just take it straight from the L to the cross. And that's the algorithm that you use. It's quite long, so it takes a while to memorize. But it's actually faster than using the two of these ones. Then you have to find at least two of the color edge colors that line up at the centers of those sides. These two match the red and the yellow. The white and the orange, however, are flipped, so now I need to switch those around. Okay, so now all four of the center pieces of the cross line up with their correct colors. Now at this point, I need to find a correct corner that the three colors match the three sides. In this case, it's the blue, orange, white um, corner. Even though it's not oriented correctly so that those colors are facing those sides, you just need those three colors matching these three sides in some combination. And then that means I have to move that these three around to be matching their corners. And this one's even oriented the correct way now. Um, for the other three, I need to flip their corners around so that blue's on the top right here, um, and the other two face their correct colors. And then you have a completed cube.